For example, our double A affiliate right here of the Tampa Bay Rays in Montgomery are the Montgomery Biscuits. Why do you think we name them the Biscuits? Is it because we hate biscuits? No, we really like biscuits, probably a little too much. I know I fall into that category. I love biscuits. That's why we named them that, because we like the biscuits and pull for them and want them to win. When you pull for a sports team, you're wanting whatever that mascot is. That is something to root for. It's a tribute. It's something that you think is cool. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for today... Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry, my monitor went off for a second. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, as you can see, I was somebody that was quite invested in the World Series for the Atlanta Braves. And it is an incredible story, and I talked about that a little bit earlier. This is just a team that just pulled together, and nobody would have picked them to win the World Series, especially after all the things that happened to this team. But they really coalesced and, and made, you know, just kind of made a meal out of scraps and leftovers and wound up beating everybody else out of it. And I, I got to say, I love them for it. It was so much fun to watch this team over the entirety of the season. But it's even more important when you realize that very early in the year, Major League Baseball actually moved the All-Star game. And so to watch Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, have to stand there after he pulled millions of dollars in revenue out of Atlanta over something that, first of all, the Atlanta Braves had nothing to do with, the, the new Georgia voter law, and second of all, was a complete lie because it actually expanded voter access, didn't restrict it. And it was really funny, too, for nobody wanted to take the blame for that. Like, the second they actually pulled the All-Star game, Stacey Abrams and Joe Biden tried really hard to distance themselves. Like, oh, well, we didn't have anything to do with that. Yet, you do realize that in the letter that the commissioner said, it, part of their justification was that it was at the recommendation of the White House. Yeah. So there you go. Um, it was funny that as soon as they actually did that, everybody wanted to distance themselves from it because they realized it looked really stupid to pull, you know, millions of dollars worth of revenue out of a majority black city and take it to a, a town like Denver where there's like five black people in the entire town. <laughs> so anyway, there was that. So there, there is just like a huge level of irony there that Manfred, you know, who was trying his best to to bow down to the woke mob, then has to, just a few months later, award the World Series trophy to the Atlanta Braves. I mean, that was just, ah, it was just so good to see that happen. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love for the Braves to win the World Series every year, but just watching this be a massive middle finger to the commissioner of baseball, who is by far the worst commissioner of baseball in Major League Baseball's history, uh, just watching that happen after he caved to the woke mob and then has to go to Atlanta for three of the World Series games and has to present them with the World Series trophy. Oh, that was just, you couldn't have asked for a better year for it to happen than this year because so much unfairness had happened. It was almost like the 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 universe was a, a writing itself or something like that. I think uh, maybe there was even a little divine providence in it. I don't know. Maybe God has a sense of humor and wanted to do that, but there were quite a few other controversies that surrounded this Braves team uh, that happened throughout the week because of this. One that I wanted to bring some attention to, which I thought was really funny, this happened in game one uh, that actually took place in Houston. There was a guy holding up a sign here, obviously an Astros fan, that says, the chop is racist. Now, you guys know I'm a classically trained debater. I can debate just about anybody, and I can debate really either side of an issue just because it's part of my training. But sometimes the best answers to arguments are the simplest. The best way to defeat this argument, this claim, is to ask how. How is it racist? Use the Socratic method on somebody. If someone says to you that the chop that the Atlanta Braves do, you know, the tomahawk chop, is racist, just ask them how. Because I've yet to hear a good, solid answer on that. I've heard people try to piddle around and come up with something. But there's that. And then I also love the fact that, again, it is not an actual Native American that's upset about this. 
even though it would be just as stupid for a Native American to say this, because uh, they, you know, wrong is wrong regardless of who's saying it. But it's not a Native American. It's not somebody that grew up on a reservation or anything like that. You know who's upset about this? An old white guy. <laughs> And I'm assuming he's a liberal based on his stance of, of the chop being racist somehow. I still haven't figured out how that is the case. But on top of that, this is a guy who probably has quite a bit of money because, you know, World Series tickets are in the several thousands of dollars. And if you can do that to spend one night, spend on one night of baseball, probably doing okay in the financial market too. So here we have yet again another rich white liberal who is very upset about the Native Americans. And what's hilarious is, as it usually is, they wind up hurting the very people that they claim to care about. Because the Braves work together and do a lot of charity with the Cherokee Nation. Let's say that they had to stop the chop and they had to get rid of the, the Braves memorabilia and everything else. You think that they would continue to do that? You would actually be taking money and, and charitable donations and, you know, good PR, if nothing else, with the Cherokee Nation away from them if the Braves just did what the Cleveland Indians did and changed their name to something generic and non-offensive. That is what would happen, make no mistake. And so it's just funny to me that it's a bunch of old, white, angry, rich liberals that are very upset about how oppressed Native Americans are. And... I've said this before, I probably don't have to repeat it, but I'll say it again because I do think it's so profound. One thing that is so funny about this is that I've had people, because I am a Braves fan and because I'm a conservative, say stuff about this all the time. And actually, we're going to take a look in, in a second about another liberal that had an issue with this. The allegation is always that it is somehow racist. But what they don't seem to understand is when it comes to sports, when you make something your mascot and you imitate that, that is a form of tribute and flattery. Because there is not a team anywhere that named themselves after something that they hate. They name themselves something that's cool or funny or interesting or cute. Something that they like and want to pull for. For example, our AA affiliate right here of the Tampa Bay Rays in Montgomery are the Montgomery Biscuits. Why do you think we name them the biscuits? Is it because we hate biscuits? No, we really like biscuits. Probably a little too much. I know I fall into that category. I love biscuits. That's why we named them that. Because we like the biscuits and pull for them and want them to win. When you pull for a sports team, you're wanting whatever that mascot is. That is something to root for. It's a tribute. It's something that you think is cool. The reason that you had the Redskins and the Indians and the Atlanta Braves are specifically because we thought that the Native American, you know, the, the tribe and the pageantry and everything that goes around with it, and this is true of the FSU Seminoles and, and other teams the same way, we thought it was a cool thing and wanted to pull for it. That's the reason that we were on board with it in the first place. And so it's just so silly to suggest that this is somehow racist. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, it must mean you like what you saw and should like and subscribe. That or you were just super bored, wound up here by accident, and were too lazy to turn the video off before now. Now, I hope you're the first type of person, but if you happen to be the second type, doesn't really matter to me. I got a view out of you either way. Huh. Profiting off of the laziness of others. This must be what it feels like to be a Democrat.